If you know the channel, then you know we love to motivate people to get to some of these amazing theme parks all around America. And with that being said, today we're going to talk about some of these attractions that are located all around the world, could potentially end up in America, and hopefully they do because these are some awesome attractions and I hope you guys enjoy this. Please give this video a like. Some of them are basically just prototypes and things of that nature but hopefully some of these parks can work with some of these different manufacturers and maybe get some of these awesome attractions at our parks here in America so I'm gonna first start off with Vacoma obviously we got the new tilt coaster going in there Dakota land but how about this attraction this is fly and this is located at Fantasia Land in Germany. And what a coaster this thing is. I mean, obviously the theming is phenomenal. They have some of the best theming in the world there at Fantasia Land. But even just this thing in the backwoods at a Bush Gardens Park or a well-themed Universal, I could totally dig it. And I think a lot of people would love this attraction. What a coaster, I'm telling you. Something that I could see happening in the next two years, maybe even the 2025 season, one of these Wild Mooses by RMC, Rocky Mountain Construction. This thing can go on an existing plot of land where a Wild Mouse coaster used to be. I could definitely see this happening in the very near future, no doubt about it. In fact, I'd be very surprised if a park did not have one of these in the next two years. If you have any thoughts and you could see any of these attractions that I'm showing you at certain parks around the United States, feel free to comment below. I'd love to hear what everybody else thinks. So this attraction I am most looking forward to talking about. This is the 360 Dome. Now this is already an existing attraction. This is located at SeaWorld Abu Dhabi. And I gotta say, it's a very immersive experience. Looks to be an incredible ride and I can definitely see this showing up around in the United States at certain SeaWorld or Busch Gardens parks as they look to phase out their animal experiences, this would offer a safe, harm-free way to show these animals in such detail that it would almost be like you're right there with the animal. What a cool experience. I cannot wait to get on this thing. Eventually someday, I could see this showing up at SeaWorld Orlando. I think would be a great fit for this thing because of the fact that they have basically no flat rides so this would offer something very very unique now I know I go very heavy on the Intamins here but let's face it Intamin is one of the most innovative manufacturers when it comes to rides roller coasters and attractions this here is a Ferris wheel that Intamin is now offering and it is a hubless Ferris wheel that offers 360 degree views of the surrounding area LED lighting what a cool cool Ferris wheel definitely something I could see here in America at such parks as Disney or definitely a Universal Park could offer something like this with having a roller coaster go through the center of it I think would be phenomenal another attraction that Intamin actually already has in existence the vertical launch coaster I cannot wait to see one of these in America especially like an indoor one at like a Nickelodeon universe or a park that maybe hasn't even been built yet who knows but I could definitely see Universal having something like this especially with the success of Velocicoaster 
and the new Fast and the Furious coaster that looks to be an amazing attraction. They have one of these located in Dubai. It's called the Storm Coaster. What a cool experience. However, it's very pricey, running roughly $100 a person to ride this thing one time, which is insane. How about this thing? This here is the Skyhawk, and it's located at Canada's Wonderland. But I could definitely see one of these at Hershey Park or some of the parks that just don't have that many thrilling flat ride attractions. This thing is such a cool experience. You can actually flip this thing while you're up in the air, allowing you to do all kinds of cool little inversions, or you can just go up there for the ride and just enjoy the view. Gerslauer offers two different models. They offer a smaller 16 person and obviously a larger 24 person. So this 16 person model I could definitely see in a mall of some sort, some kind of indoor theme park. But the Sky Roller is definitely a traction that we'll be seeing in America soon. So moving on to Zyre, which is if you're not familiar, they have roller coasters such as Verbolton at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. But this is a cool little family launch coaster. I think this would be a great fit for a smaller park like Knobles. And Knobles actually has a history of working with Zyre with Impulse. So this is a parachute ride offered by Intamin. And I gotta say, this would be a great addition to Six Flags Great Adventure, being the fact that they just got rid of their parachute ride that they had for years. Uh, last season was the last season that they operated it. So I think this would be an awesome addition. It looks like you're maybe able to walk out onto those platforms up there on the top of this thing. That would be pretty cool, offering some views much like uh, Kings Island does with the Eiffel Tower not sure if that's the case but I think that would be a cool experience in itself if you could see any of these attractions showing up around the United States please be sure to leave a comment below and as always please hit that like button it really does help the channel out and I really do appreciate every single like it really helps me Thanks so much, everyone. Have a wonderful day.